We're back on the Vicky Show. On Christmas motherfucking Eve. Christmas Eve. Yes. It's a Christmas massacre. Mass- it's a, it has been a Christmas massacre. Has, yeah. Now, <laughs> definition of Vogue Femme. Yeah. Bush Queen Vogue Femme. Which of course, word? down to the root of the word, is Bush Queen Vogue like Femme Queens. And like we were saying earlier, you and I, I don't really don't understand why Bush Queens are even really watching other Bush Queens these mm. days. It's to watch the legends, it's to watch the Neambies, the Dejas, the Yolandas, the Angels, the Letitias. Exactly. The Remember legendary that. bitches. It's to watch the legends. Imitate that if anything. Don't watch your counterpart, another bitch doing exactly what the fuck you're doing. Why? Why? All of the same. Right. Who's all now who are your one of your favorite but like which one, but like who do you live for? Right now or right just now. back in the day. Right now. Because it's all right about now, now, I feel like. I live for Kitty, Balenciaga. And I want to just say this for her. Mm. I actually never spoke to Kitty. You know what I'm saying? She, I knew of him. She probably knew of me. We never spoke. We had a lovely chat at the Harris Balenciaga Ball. Mm. She's going to do the show. It was a big misunderstanding with me and her. Shout out to you, Kitty. Shout I enjoyed you. I enjoyed. That was grand prize. Oh, cool. Huh, little James. Mm. So shout out to them. But it's all about you right now, Dream Ebony. Um, so Kitty, one of your favorites. Who else? Kitty. Um... There's the undeniables that names don't even really matter. There's the princes, the Malachi's, the ponies. ponies. That's good. Well, you know what? It's a lot of talk about Miss Ronaldo Malone. You know, some people say she's overrated. Some people say the Vogue isn't the same. Oh, How do you yeah. feel about this lady? Ronaldo, undeniably, always entertaining. But I feel as though it's always the same. The same. Entertaining. Mm-hmm. So it gets boring. And I'm kind of over it. You're kind of over I'm it. Kinda over I'm kind of over it. Kinda over it. Now, let's talk about, what about Ricky Allure? She's legendary. She one of my all-time favorites. That's one of my one favorite. One of my all-time favorites. Wow. You can never get sick of it. You can't. You can't get sick of it. Now, I want to ask you, you said you've been Vogue since 2007. Mm. You Now, do you want to be a legend? You can't walk Vogue fam. You can't be in the ballroom scene and say you don't have a hope to be legendary. Right. Well, why would you really do it? Exactly. So, of course. I think the girls will come here and give me a fraud. Oh, it's just for fun. Right, come on. Uh. Now, speaking of... <laughs> <laughs> now, you are in love. Of course. But I always I like to ask... I don't know if you can answer these questions, but I always like to ask ballroom crushes. Mm-hmm. Do we have any? Ballroom crushes now? Yeah. Or, I mean, someone like... Or someone like you just... Oh, he's so adorable. He's so cute. But we can't... Like, we would never be together. You know, some boys out there... Yeah, general. but I can't fuck with him anyway. He's, maybe he's because he's too messy, or maybe he's, you know... Or because I'm married. Oh, you're married. Exactly. Hey. The, the ballroom is full of over bush queens. That's just what come with the ballroom scene. I have to say that. I agree. Um, ooh, hypnotic Balenciaga. Don't. No, <laughs> I had to try it. But um, just, there's just a plethora. It's like, yeah, um, it over is. bush queens. Over bush queens. Just, it is. From the that, that's what you get. Mm-hmm. Now, do you think? This, like, you know, with certain people, Vogue fam or any category, it's a lot of politics going on, people fucking for votes, you know, um, maybe a lot going on. How do you feel about all that that, that goes on in the room? See, it's a dangerous scene. It's, it's, it's sad. I would say it's sad. The ballroom nowadays really isn't based off your talent. It really is based off of who you're doing, who you're screwing, and who you know. Exactly. But that's kind of how the world is. That's so you really can't knock the ballroom scene for working like that. You but for not. those girls that do get their life like that, Shame on you. Now, you're right. Now, Dream, do you feel like you're underrated? Or was before? Well, you're just coming back now, so we're going to mm. see you. Congratulations to your win. Thank you. You just won. But how do you feel about your aspect of the scene right now? Um, I would say I made my decision to start when I stopped, and that's on my own fault. So I stopped when I was starting to get my life, when I was starting to do my thing. So I guess I really can't say I was underrated back then. I was get, I, I paid my dues and I was getting my just life at that point. Right. So now that I'm coming back, we will see. Right. We will see. And judging from how Balenciaga's ball, I got my life. The judges saw it. They pushed me through. So, hey, we'll exactly. just have to see. Okay. Now, also, Joshua, I want to ask you, how did you became, like, what made you want to be, be like, be an EBO and why? Ebony, always being in New York all the time, you remember, mm-hmm. and just being around them girls, that's just who showed me the most love. And that's just what I was around, that's who I was chilling with, and I respected them. And they pushed me. They pushed you. And so it just seemed like family, and it's been family ever since, and I rock with the Ebony 100%. Now, do you think that there's so many Vogue films in the house? How do you feel about, like, there's so many different Vogue film girls. How do you feel about you in particular getting your own life? I think with Ebony, 
if you put the work in, they gonna push you. Mm -hmm. So a lot of girls focus on the Cassandras and the Malaysias and so on and so forth because undeniably they put in the work. Right. So you you really can't be mad. They put the work in. So I feel as though if I put the work in, my my name doesn't matter. My performance and my talent will speak for itself. So we just have to see. And on that note, I'm gonna come back with Dream Ebony.